Ooh. Boy, it has uh, been a few years since I felt that heavy humidity that mm -hmm. I felt in Houston. <laughs> I kind of wanted to bottle it up and bring it back because it's mm. different than the humidity we get here from, you know, the coast and everything. Right. We it's have that heavy, cooler humidity, absolutely right? Absolutely hot and heavy <laughs> humidity that just kind of sits on your skin. I'm glad you didn't bring it back with you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, exactly, I left yeah. Texas for a reason. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. the temperatures were 83. It was nice to feel those 80s again. Right, at least it was warmer, but with that humidity, it kind of like smacks you in the face. feels yeah. like this heavy weight on you. Uh, you were mentioning the Sierra snowpacks. I wanted to show this drought monitor. We get the update tomorrow morning on this latest week and how it may have impacted our drought. But this is really good looking sign right here where you'll notice much of our state now does not have drought conditions. So you'll notice the yellows and the lighter browns right there showing dry to moderate uh, drought conditions. So as we zoom into San Diego, most of San Diego now finally out of the drought. And the only areas where we see some of that would be your along our foothills into our mountains towards our deserts, Brawley, Mexicali, as you see right there. So dry and moderate, still on the lower end of things. And look at our rain chances for the next several days, all the way through next week, barely anything, maybe some marine layer drizzle, but nothing that's gonna be measurable, obviously. And right now, as we look outside, the full moon, uh, it's gonna be full tonight. It has not quite set yet. It is big and bright out there from Laguna Mountain, San Miguel Mountain. Look at this view. I mean, that's incredible. Sweetwater Reservoir right there and the moon shining bright onto that you can see of course the lights of the South Bay and I want to show you your weather headlines for today cool and calm this morning warmer this afternoon compared to yesterday and we're going to warm up through tomorrow a little dip in temperatures on Friday and then this weekend early next week I think you're going to like what you're going to see we do have a frost advisory to start off so temperatures dropping to 32 degrees or below can cause some frost to form especially because we have barely any wind as you see winds are very calm downtown you're at 47 32 and Mona, 31 in Mount Laguna, 32 in Campo. So a lot of 40s, but still some of those low lying spots could be at freezing. This afternoon, not bad, mid to upper 60s for most locations along the coast and inland. El Cajon, though, reaching low 70s. You and Borrego are tying up. <laughs> Let's look at your eight day, and you'll see here that through Friday, we will see a little slight dip. Nothing major, barely anything noticeable. And then look at this weekend. Ah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then we drop on Wednesday ever so slightly. So in the mid to upper 70s, finally, for inland valleys, the deserts will be reaching the low to mid 90s. Eric.